full service factoring is the traditional one that has been around since ever. Full service factoring was pretty well where the business owners started their trade. The lenders would factor all the invoices that the client would have, put them into a normal 12 month contract and would give them a 30 day grace which meant that they would charge a fee between 3 and 5 percent for 30 days. In that block period if the debt got paid that was all the fees that they would require to be paid. But unfortunately in most cases the, debtor find, um, the debtors would go past 30 days, maybe to 45, and an extra 15 days is where the lender makes most of their money because they put a little interest charge on and they times it by the day. So 45 days, let's say it was an extra percent or percent and a half, add it to the 3 to 5, suddenly it's 6, 6, 7. Very lucrative. Now, if it costs you 5% on a month on average, then that's 60% per annum. If you borrowed a million, that's $60,000. We start talking some real biscuits when they, um, the debtors continually go over 30 days. But over the years, these sort of businesses have been able to stay afloat because small mums and dad businesses don't have collection arms. And these particular um, full-service products provide a service in the back end by the, them ring, the themselves ringing up, verifying the invoices and, and collecting and doing all those things that honestly a two-man operation can't do. You know, mum normally handles the books, dad's normally out driving the truck or running his business or in sales or in marketing and, and the factory become, company becomes the back-end collection office, which for $60,000 a year you're hiring you know, up to 10 staff to do that for you and they do credit searches and all the rest of it. So if you look at it from that way, it's a very cheap product. But unfortunately, from business point of view, it's very expensive.